so uh, i will be talking about my journey as a cornea surgeon i'm dr nidhi garkar uh, so i did my ms at ahmedabad followed by a cornea fellowship at barakpur uh, deshai hospital so a uh, few questions which i thought when i was starting and i hope that uh, you would get the answers at the end of the presentation uh, is cornea fellowship fruitful what additional skills should i have now uh, if this is a referral branch how would i primarily get my patients so cornea involves a lot of pathologies uh, it involves uh, treating trauma surface disorders dry eye dystrophies corneal erosions allergic conjunctivitis ectasias decompensations and of course cataracts and much more so what happened when i joined private practice honestly i was clueless there are so many things which are available in an institutional setup when you are doing your fellowship that you do not really realize how much armamentarium you actually do require so my mantra was replicate what i learned reproduce elaborate and then evolve starting with my instruments and machines i went back to my fellowship days all the instruments that i had been operating on i chose them i was comfortable working on them i started making sets for clean and infected procedures very important for cornea surgeons as we have a, a lot of infected cases that we need to do and as uh, the workload increases you can increase the number of these sets i got a microscope of my own for my own scraping and staining because sometimes i felt that uh, the lab reports were not very reliable next thing was to attach myself to a microbiology and pathology lab these are adjuncts but absolutely necessary in the diagnosis treatment and prognostication of the kind of cases we need to cater to corneal tissue a uh, very important for very not most most important for a corneal surgeon uh, where to get it how to get it when to get it so if your hospital already has a hota certification it makes things easier else you have to start working on that meanwhile you can get attached to another center having the permission and do the cases at that center now i bank setup is very important prepare a team for retrieval and always prepare a backup because you will need this 24/7 sometimes when i when my staff is not available i myself have to go and collect the tissues uh it's good to always get attached to a hospital for hospital cornea retrieval program patient counseling is very important especially if this is a newer specialty introduced in your hospital or if you are a newer surgeon definitely needs more chair time more counseling proper counseling do not omit the risk and complications of the fear of losing the patient follow ups long term treatment should be explained beforehand in cornea practice and do not promise what you cannot deliver case selection again very important in your initial stages uh, uh, there might not be a stratification in your private practice like there is an in, in an institute where you might be get, getting the cases according to your skill so here every case that comes is a new case uh, it's best in the initial phases to take a good prognosis case or uncomplicated cases so that you can deliver so always pick your battles wisely now it is important to record the clinical pictures and your videos because you can learn from your own videos uh corneal diagrams do exist but honestly sometimes you do forget how the exact look was at the previous follow up and it is very important and uh, it is very good to go back at the previous uh, picture and uh, see it it also helps to counsel your patients and medical legally saves you if you are confused do not hesitate to take a second opinion uh, your teachers will be always available on whatsapp on phone otherwise as well so uh, it is always better to take a second opinion if you are not finding a solution to your case as a cornea surgeon keep your armamentarium ready you do not know what lies beneath you might need anything so a backup should always be ready now this is quite remunerating uh, be it globe salvaging or be it giving good uh, vision to the patient am i 8 minutes over 4 uh, minutes over okay so we'll give you two more yeah to yeah now learn from your own mistakes these are few cases that i did uh, in my initial uh, practice lens coming out uh, cutting of the iris during a therapeutic uh, uh keratoplasty 
this case is of a 100 year old uh, man undergoing therapeutic keratoplasty i don't know why i tried to save a intumescent lens and there it ruptured during the suturing and i had to go back and remove it always keep tissue backup especially if you are doing lamellar keratoplasties so this was a case i had a perforation thankfully i could salvage the tissue by dissecting uh, from the other side but it might not happen all the time uh, sometimes the perforation might be quite large and you might not be able to salvage the tissue and then you have an open eye on the table and no tissue so uh, maybe you can have two procedures kept uh, one is non emergency one is lamellar and once you dissect the first tissue then you are good to go to uh, go for the full thickness procedure wet lab practice again very important uh, whenever you have spare time whenever you have spare tissue you can go for it it will improve your tissue handling improve your technique reduce your surgical time uh, especially for suturing dissect lenticular dissection or D, uh, dm peeling it, uh, wet lab will really help so i think this is how wet lab helped me uh, starting with uncomplicated cases dissect and uh, uh, progressing to air assisted uh, cases in vitrectomized eyes and post sfiol keep acquiring newer skills now this is what i learned uh, to decrease my dependence on a vr surgeon i can make my own ports and at least do a core vitrectomy when the ac is uh, flat or the iop is very high in spite of manitol uh, and this really helped me because this was a case uh, where the lens was going to get expulsed uh, reaction time was very less we did not have the vr surgeon and here i could salvage the lens and do my own vitrectomy and the patient did well thereafter uh, dr nidhi can you sum up yeah uh, similarly single four uh, through pupilloplasty post optical cases uh, a little tricky but it gives very good outcome anatomically as well as functionally endo illuminator again is a friend of a cornea surgeon uh, low visibility it really helps uh, you can fix it pars plana and use or use it externally as well now don't worry about cataracts that we all do uh, your complicated cases will come back to you and non complicated will also come back to you so uh, these are cases that i treated and they came back to me only uh, uh, for their cataract surgery and uh, thankfully they did do well so uh, keep achieving new milestones in your journey because excellence is a journey with no destination thank you so much